Learning Neighborhood Community. I don't know if you can see this, how tired I actually am. Um, I'm averaging probably about maybe two hours sleep, maybe three. Not straight. A little bit here, a little bit there. Um, we had to call hospice late last night. Um, well, it started off at about six o'clock. Somehow there was a mix up and the liquid morphine, which I believe is called retinol or something along those lines. Um, did not get called in or did not get filled or somehow along the lines got dropped um, at about 5 o'clock or so, a little after 5, which hospice closes at 5, that my dad just couldn't swallow anymore. Um, he can't sip on a straw. Um, <clears throat> to get the pills down. Uh, so last night when we needed it, we didn't have it. So they told us to make a paste out of the meds that we had and put that in his cheek. Well, the first time we did that, it worked fine. The second time we did that, he spit it out. He was having no part of that. None at all. So I called hospice back again and I said, nope, it's not going to work. Is there a 24-hour pharmacy that you can call this script into because we need the liquid morphine at this point because he is not taking his meds. He is not. So my sister had to run out late last night and go to a 24-hour pharmacy um, that was probably, it took her an hour to go there, get the script, and come back. But we did get the liquid morphine, and he is taking it. It's not as strong as what he was taking, and we have to give it to him every two to four hours. And... He's not sleeping now. Um, he's, his eyes are closed and he's trying to sleep, but it's a very restless, restless sleep because of the pain. So I called hospice again this morning and I told her, We're, <laughs> we only have 12 doses left. He's not sleeping. His eyes are closed, but he's grimacing in pain. He's not sleeping. He's not resting. He's not out of pain. He's not comfortable. I don't know exactly what the next step is going to be, if they're going to up it, if they're going to, what they're going to do. Um, I did manage at this point to completely liquefy an Ativan and use the syringe and get that in him as well. We're trying to keep him as comfortable as possible. It's very hard at this point because we can't understand anything he's saying. Anyway, my sister now has to go to the doctor, not my the father's regular doctor, to the doctor that approved the liquid morphine last night and pick up the written script and take it back to this pharmacy that's way out and pick up the written script and take it back to that pharmacy. So, yeah. A little bit inconvenient, especially since none of us really want to leave my dad right now, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, good morning everybody. I'm on the way to Riverside to try again to get uh, this light to go off. 
uh, Maria Cisneros told, sent us uh, a message saying that her husband, uh, Joey, uh, works for a body shop in Riverside and uh, he's worked on these things before and he knows how to turn it off. I personally think the system's fried and uh, I think that I basically the onboard computer needs to be replaced, which is not going to, uh, I'm not going to be able to do probably. But more than happy to give it a try to see, uh, see if he can get it off. If he can, that would be awesome. And I could just, I will be able to get this on this weekend. Uh, tomorrow I'm supposed to go to my mom's house and finish doing a painting because it's a little cooler. And um, it's, if I get up early enough, I uh, won't get it. the winds. We get some downer winds around 3, and they just get worse and worse until around 8. So, get there at uh, about 8 in the morning, tape everything up. I should be spraying by noon, and uh, that'd be more or less done. That'd be great. See if I can get Jay to come help move the uh, stairs away from the building. Get her, Coco! Get her! <laughs> Do a flip! A backflip. <laughs> Woo! Did you hurt yourself? No, I'm just tired. <laughs> yeah, you need to get out of the sun. Crystal just got another new tattoo today, or yesterday, guys. So, as soon as she gets out of the sun, we'll show it to you. Look at her new tattoo. They saw my other one out. I don't know. Let's show them. <laughs> and she got this one two weeks ago. Yep. She's taking after her Auntie Val. She's going to be all tatted up soon. All right. So I just finished up with Joey, Maria's uh, husband. And um, basically what I've learned is never to go to Pet Boys. I usually don't say anything really negative about a company, but yeah, that, I feel like I really got hosed by Pep Boys this time. Um, they replaced one of the sensors. Apparently two of the sensors were out. And they weren't, they didn't check again. After they replaced the one and it didn't work, I think it would probably be a smart thing to check again. And, uh, two of the sensors, the rear two sensors were not working. and. Uh, I don't understand why I ended up with this. Also, they really overcharged me for the sensor. Of course, the first thing I did was check the price on the sensor before I even went over there. And I initially assumed that the cost of $150 was probably mostly um, a labor because the product was like 20 bucks. But uh, looking at the, the bill, they charged me $105 for the sensor and $45 for labor so I'm going to order a, a sensor online I actually have the uh, the, the sensor box so I know exactly what to get uh, so I will order that and uh, Joey said just bring it back as soon as you have it I'll probably be able to get that in a day uh, and uh, they will install it and all I'll have to pay for is uh, uh, the labor. So I pretty much can probably get it finished for uh, 50 bucks. And uh, unfortunately, I wish I had just never taken it to Pet Boys because uh, 
at you know $150 and it still didn't do the trick. My uh, my biggest concern, however, was that the, my whole system was fried. And uh, Joey said it that the system's fine. The uh, it's the uh, people that work there that were not good. Great thing to know, it's not gonna cost me too much. I hope I can afford it within the next couple of days because uh, uh, we're getting to the end of the month and this is when we really get hammered financially. Uh, a whole bunch of bills come due this, at this time of year. But we do appreciate everything, everything that uh, Joey and Maria has done for us and all of you. There are so many of you that are helping us out and uh, we would not we would not be able to pull this off without your help. So, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who's helping us out. This isn't going to be forever. I swear. As soon as I get this truck sold, and I get a, another car, I will be working for Lyft. And, but that's not going to happen forever either. I don't think that's a job that I'm going to have forever. I will continue to apply for positions until I get something. Hello again, everybody. I know, I'm scary looking. Um, it's been a crazy day. Crazy, crazy day. Um, I was finally getting some sleep, and then we ended up having an issue with our checking account. I ordered something that all I was supposed to pay for was for $4.95 for shipping. And I did that. And Kevin calls me and says we got charged $98 and change. And I had no information to call the company because when the product came in, Kevin threw all the paperwork out. So I called the bank and I disputed it and the bank is doing a temporary credit. They gave me a number to call the company. I called the company and the number is no longer in service. Yeah. So the bank gave us a temporary credit. They put a block on the company so they can no longer withdraw any money from our account. Um, they've seen this before. So yeah, hopefully that gets taken care of. So, needless to say, I didn't get very much sleep today. Um, then we were doing some work in the garage because when we head up north, my mother wants to park the car in the garage. <sighs> so we needed to clean up the garage and make room for that. Um, so now I have another big box to ship home and another small box to ship home. Yeah. So... I will be getting that stuff together to uh, ship out shortly. But we did finally get the liquid morphine on board. Um, and we've already had to call and have it increased. Um, because it's not the long lasting, it doesn't stay in his system as, as long. Um, so he's not getting as much as he was getting prior and he is not sleeping restful at all. He's moaning and groaning and grimacing in pain and discomfort. So even with the liquid morphine, um, he still wasn't comfortable enough. So they upped the dosage. And um, he went from 1.15 to 8 o'clock um, between doses, but it took him a good two hours to sleep comfortably. So we just gave him another dose of everything. Um, when I say everything, it's it's just the liquid morphine, which is retinol. Um, we're liquefying an Ativan until we can get liquid Ativan and uh, atropine. Um, that's all we're giving him at this point. 
he's so uncomfortable so uncomfortable and it's just so hard to watch so that's what it's been like around here we did get some uh, fun stuff with crystal and coco and uh, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw and whatever it is Kevin's been doing over in California and if you did, give us a like, a share, a comment, a thumbs up, all that happy crappy stuff. And we will see you guys tomorrow.